Okay, hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to go through and update my um, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 SMN9006 to um, KitKat 4.4.2. So as you um, may have seen my other videos, I've already um, rooted and installed Clockwork Mod and installed the Google Apps onto my Chinese variant phone. Um, on 4.3 so um, I'm going to go through and do a manual um, upgrade how to so before we get started uh, we're going to have to go down and download a whole bunch of stuff first so the most important one at the moment is to download the firmware so um, what we want to do is go to sammobile.com you're going to have to create an account um, click to firmware database and in here in here type in punch in the your phone model so just as an example mine's an SM and N9006 model and then it's Chinese only so if you punch in the exact model there for your phone as you can see here, it actually says 2014 4.4.2. So you can either update it through keys. Uh, I can't update mine via over the air anymore because I've tripped Knox, but that's fine. I don't really care about that. So go ahead and download the um, the latest version for your phone from there. Just a warning: this will take quite a while. It will take probably a few hours downloading this. So go ahead, do that. The next thing we want to do is go to uh, and download. Um, sorry, and I'm going to use this CF Auto Root by Chainfire to uh, root my phone. So links will be um, below. Uh, please read through all of this and understand it all before you start. Um, the next thing we need is the Team Win Recovery Project, which is Twerp. Um, you can use Clockwork Mod as well, uh, but today I'm going to try this um, twerp. I've never used this before. I've always used Clockwork Mod. Um, again, links will be below. And gaps. Go down here and find the right package for your um, phone. Um, in here, to download twerps, go to um, download here. Click on the project here. Take you to this page click on this, it will take you to this uh, Team Win page, um, click over here, get to work for your device, type in your phone model, so mine is the HLTE one here, the QCOM, and then scroll down, you can do the zip uh, DD, which is the um, manual way or the Odin method, download Go ahead and download the Odin method. That's the way we're going to do it in this video. And that should be it for now. Oh, the one other thing is if you want to go and download Odin 3.09, um, you can just Google that. It's everywhere. Okay, so now that we've got everything we need, download all that, we can get started. Okay, so before we get started, um, there's a couple of things to check on the phone. Um, We've got it, so we'll go through that. We'll go go into your settings um, about device. So I'll just show you. Currently, it's on 4.3 Android version, and uh, the baseband is that one. So we'll just check that. But uh, first, we we must have developer options, and um, you must have USB debugging on. The other one to check is in security, I think. And reactivation lock, that one must be off. Okay, so that's all good. What we'll do now is I'll turn it off and we'll boot it up into download mode. So while that's turning off, what we'll do is we'll run Odin. So I've got, when you've downloaded all your files, you can see there's the, the zip file and the zip file, and I've extracted two zip files and 
what we want to do is we want to make sure we end up with the tar.md5 files. Right, if you end up with any other file you've extracted too many times and the recovery terp there 4.4 tar as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to run Odin. So now what we'll do is we'll put the phone into download mode so that's a volume down, power and home button. So press all three. Okay, as you can see it's in Chinese. What we need to do is, is volume up is to continue, volume down is to cancel. So I'm going to go volume up. Okay, you can see there. What we do now is we plug in our USB. Okay. So. Okay, so plug in the USB over here you will see on the computer that it's installing the device driver um, I've just got Samsung keys installed so wait until that finishes if it's the first time it can take quite a while to install I'll just let that run what we're waiting for is once that's done you'll see um, a connection up here, ID com up there. Okay, it's getting close to being finished. So as you can see, it's come up with com seven up there, and it says added. Okay, now it's all done. So now that that's done, some of the other versions you'll see PDA here. We've just got AP, which is the one we want. So click AP. Go to um, where we've downloaded the um, ROM and I've just put in C note 3 here and it's we want the Chinese I want this one go open and it's gonna run a quick check and test okay so you can see that it says that's the ROM checking finish successfully so basically now um, you can actually leave everything as default there, we don't need anything else, and then we basically go start. You can see over on the phone, it's it's pushing the, the ROM onto the phone. Obviously, you know, make sure your phone's fully charged. Um, last thing you want is for it to um, run out of battery during this process. So now we wait. Okay, so it's just rebooting on its own. Just let it do its thing. So while that's booting up, you can see over the computer there that it says pass, seven minutes, and all threads completed, succeeded one. So that's a good thing. But of course, now that we've updated it, um, we've lost root and we've lost the Google Apps um, on this ROM, because it's the Chinese variant and it doesn't come with Google Apps. So once it boots up, let's go in and check out our ROM version. It's, it's probably 
just installing all its bloatware that I'll go back and remove later anyway. Okay, so it's booted up. Let's go into settings and general about device. And then we have it. We have Android Void. Uh, it's grayed out, so it might be hard to see. Whoops, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that for now. It's got the wrong Google Apps, so we'll have to go and um, reinstall the new version of Google Apps. Um, yeah, but it says Android 4.4.2, so that's the latest version. So that's good.